out the door there as you can see the BTV news uh, awaiting the widow of Hermie the Crab Clarence of the Hermie Crab that is and, uh, we're going to go over to the site went over to the grave site as you can see they did a very nice job on the plot that was uh, Bill's plot makers oh yes all dug up and here we go now. Here comes some of the participating crowd for the funeral of Clarence the Hermit Crab. As they step ever so slowly around the corner in sorrow. TV will be bringing you the eulogy this evening. But you know, Clarence the Army Crab. Okay, honey. Why well, you want to put him in the little thing there? Okay. I'd like to say a few words on Clarence's behalf. Anything you like? Yeah, I, I, yes. I, uh, we went out many times. I told him if he didn't change his lifestyle, he was going to end up like this, and he just wouldn't listen. didn't suffer very oh, long, that was good. I was like, yeah. I knew Clarence. Remember, remember when we were in Ocean City, honey, and Clarence got on the Ferris wheel and acted the nut? He was just that kind of a guy. Sarah, don't get your hand. Sarah, you're... Now we're covering Clarence up. See if... City, honey, and Clarence got on the Ferris wheel and acted the nut. He was just that kind of a guy. Sarah, don't get your hand. Sarah, you're... Now we're covering Clarence up. Say a few good words and say a prayer for Clarence. He was a good crab. We were very, very close. He's going to heaven now with all the other good little hermit crabs. We'll always know where Clarence is. He was a good little crab. Me and Clarence talked about things often. 
as a matter of fact, just before it happened, he said he didn't feel very well. Why can't we do it? Why can't you do what? Bury it. But you want to dig him up and bury him again? No, I don't think that'd be very nice. Clarence is in his resting place now. She's very emotional at this point. It seems as if she broke down and couldn't take it. Poor, poor Clarence. Right, John. Hug your feet, honey. It's all right, honey. Take your aim, you okay? <laughs> fair over by the pit beef stand and he was eating french fries and I, I said i started talking to him he said i'm gonna go home with you i said cool so he got in the car me and clarence sat side by side all the way home down through crowns where we went clarence, clarence you know clarence was just he had a personality of his own didn't he honey and just couldn't couldn't talk to Clarence like you could any other hermit crab. <laughs> <laughs> 